Compass Publishing. A day at the museum. And here we have a classic abstract work that was painted in 1952 by, uh, do any of you know? Gustav Pischler. Yes, right. From the first glance, you really get a sense of sadness from it. And here is our latest exhibition, Consumerisn't. It was created by Canadian artist Miles Sketchley. What the... This is art? In this work, the artist will destroy all of his possessions. It will take three weeks for all the items to be destroyed, and then he will destroy the entire installation so that it can't be bought or sold. I don't get it. People say you are what you eat. Maybe this piece is trying to show us that we don't need to be defined by our possessions. Wait, I recognise that t-shirt. It's mine. <laughs> it was your t-shirt. Look, it's been completely destroyed. Here comes another one. This is unbelievable. That's mine too. That's my baseball cap. Look, my name is written on the back. Oh, you're right. What should we do? I'm going to call my mum. Hi, Ryan. Mum, he's destroying my stuff. Wait, what stuff? The artist. He's supposed to be destroying his possessions for a contemporary art thing. But they're not his. They're mine. Slow down, Ryan. What stuff? My yellow and blue striped t-shirt and... That old thing. I gave it to charity last week. He also destroyed my baseball cap. That was also given to charity. Oh, it makes sense now. What makes sense? What's going on? My mum gave my clothes away to charity last week. The artist must have bought the clothes from a charity shop. So the things that he's destroying aren't his possessions at all. Wait a minute. This whole thing looks kind of like a, a hoax. hoax. What should we do? I have an idea. Hello, this is Blackwater Herald Head Office. I'd like to speak to your newspaper's chief art critic, please. I'm the chief art critic. Perfect. Meet me at Blackwater Museum of Contemporary Art at 1pm today. I promise you won't be disappointed. Why is that journalist taking so long? Look, it's the museum guide with... Hi guys, I'm Miles Sketchley. Oh, you're the artist who made that installation. Consumer isn't. Yep, it's me. I understand you're about to meet with a journalist. Listen guys, I have a favour to ask. I think I can guess what you're going to say. That I'm a fake and my installation is a hoax. But I bought that stuff fairly. So technically it was my stuff. It was just new stuff. But why didn't you use your actual possessions? Because I don't have any possessions. I made a similar installation last year, and for that I destroyed everything I had. But it didn't get any media attention. I wanted to try again, and so I bought some new things. Wow, you really suffer for your art. Should we give him a break? What do you think? Hmm, I think I have another idea. Okay, I'm here. Which one of you is Ryan? Hi, I'm Ryan. So what's the story, kid? He is the story. I've got you an exclusive interview with the most fascinating and inventive contemporary artist of our times. Wasn't there something about a hoax? Hoax? No, maybe that was a misunderstanding. I said, I hope you can come to meet him today. Well, okay. Miles, let me start by asking you, 